everybody. I'm the Pigglesworth. And welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Along with Piggy. Alright, now this is a major eyesore. I am serious. I mean, okay, so it's cool we can see the gears and we can see all the little inner workings. But really? Seriously? How has that roof stayed up this whole time? I guess we haven't had any high winds or anything because one good thunderstorm and all that would come crashing down. Now, I have got some ideas for a path. I, I'm here. Let me show you what I'm thinking about. Okay. I'm thinking about making this like a utility access, almost like a little road that you would go down if you were trying to get, you know, maybe you needed to work on the, uh, the water wheel right here, the gear. Not the gear, but like the axle that it that it rides on. Um, or maybe you needed to come over here and you needed to work on the chain. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do like a stair down and a stair up so that you could get inside and you know you could work on the gear house itself. But there is another path that I'm thinking about doing. Let's see if I can get here. Yes, without touching vines. <laughs> Because all they would do, all you guys would do is slow me down. I don't need to get slow. So, yep, I, I went ahead and planted two more birch trees right there. I think that that's going to add just a little bit more of that depth and that idea. It's going to let the stone right there of the mountain kind of hide in the background like this and give a really nice look of depth. Um, between those trees when they grow, we'll be able to see the stuff up there, but not too much. So it just, it's layer upon layer upon layer, and every layer that you can add, it just adds that much more interesting stuff to look at. I'm not really sure what I want to do with this yet. I haven't gotten rid of it because my first instinct was just cover it up, you know, make the hill look like it was supposed to be, not this little weird glitchy thing that the map generation did. But every time I stop and look at it, Something inside me says, no, save it. There might be a cool idea you come up with. You can use this. And I'll, I'll be honest with you. Half of the stuff that I get inspiration for building, it's all based off of the landscape. I let the landscape kind of inspire me of what to do. Shapes and placement of buildings and just different stuff like that. But anyway, the idea is that I'm going to have a road come from over there, kind of wind through here and go there. And I, I had said I was going to fill all this in with dirt. I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to do that. But I'm thinking have the road kind of come through here and we can put like a miniature bridge right here. So you can actually get to both sides of the building, just depending on whoop, which way you're trying to go. And eventually... We're going to have our tree farm. Yep, you can see. Some of y'all probably have noticed this. That is a stone pillar that I set up. Gosh, I can't remember. Maybe like episode three or four. I was just kind of scoping out the area. And I have just, I've always ignored that it's there. I've never bothered to tear it down. So we'll leave it there for now. But somewhere over in here, I'm going to build my piggies simple tree farm. Um, oh, son, why you do this? So... Ah, but here, I'll sleep in a second. I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what I'm going to do. There's this thing. This is like, <laughs> this is such a mess. And I'll be honest with you, I don't want to do this. I want to work on some other stuff. But this, this has just got to get fixed. This is ridiculous. I've let this go for far too long. So I think I'm going to spend uh, a good chunk of this episode seeing if we can at least fix the roof and get that stairway going. And maybe I can get some inspiration on how to finish the wall. And we can finally call this... Oh no, you bad... Watch this. See my spider fire? Watch this. Love it. One hit and they're gone. I really hate Bane of Arthropods as an uh, enchantment. But I'll be honest with you, when I do get a spider coming at me, it is so much fun to just one-hit kill. I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in this bed and make it daytime, and I'm going to gather up some supplies, and I'm going to bring you back and kind of show you, you know, the other side of this roof finished, and maybe we can figure out something to do with this wall. So 
I'll be, I'm going to get this spider. I cannot let him go. I'm going to get this spider, and I'll be right back. Love it. Oh, you want some too, mister? Come here. All right, everybody. Something amazing has happened. Now, I'm keeping the building behind me because I don't want you to see it yet. Now, I'm going to talk for a few minutes here. It's going to seem like I'm rambling, but trust me, if you'll listen to what I say, you're going to hear something pretty cool. At least I hope it's cool. What is this? Oh, yeah. Duh. Okay. It has been about two days since the last clip you saw. I've, it's been two days since I filmed. Okay. I know it seems like a second for you, but yes, a second for you, a couple of days for me. And this is a secret project. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I was actually having to lay out some dimensions over here. And I figured I would use, you know, uh, I think that's spruce. Let's see. Yeah. Spruce wood. I'd set these up, you know, as markers so I could see what was going on. But okay. You ready? Watch. <gasps> It's done. The building is done. Well, almost. It. I got a little bit more work to do to it. But look at that. We, we actually have a building. Okay. So here's the... Oh, oh yeah. I need to light that up. Bad guys are so going to spawn in there. It's not even funny. But okay. So here's the amazing thing. This is what happened. All right. Oh, son. Gosh. I really need to learn how to time you better. Let me see if I can say this. You know what? I'm just going to talk, and I'll jump in the bed if I have to. Oh, that was a weird lag spike. Okay, so anyway, so here's what happened. I was really struggling with what to do with this. So what I did was I loaded, uh, I loaded this map in a creative world just so that I could play around with some ideas. And I actually went through the whole process of building the roof and building the wall and I mean, it was a mess. This wall kind of came diagonally out here because I, in my brain, I was thinking, I have got to keep this area where those steps are at. And over here, it was getting to be a mess because I couldn't figure out how to make all this line up. And I got really, really discouraged because it was just terrible. It was a huge fail. I deleted all of it and just, you know, I called it quits for the night. I couldn't take it. I was I was a little frustrated. But I came back on the next day. I had, you know, I'd slept. My brain had kind of stepped away from the whole project. And I had, I guess I'd let my subconscious work on it. But I thought about it. I'm doing this all wrong. The roof is pretty much established. You know, it to, to make it match the beams and the style, that's already there. I don't need to build that. I needed to focus on the wall. And so what I did was I just started building the wall as I normally would. And I did that on both sides. And then all of a sudden, it just kind of fell into place. It made sense. Why not bring the walls to a certain point? And uh, you can't see it too well from here. I'll show you this real quick before the sun goes down. See how there's a beam right there? I'm like, <laughs> Piggy, just make it where it's an opening in the side of the building. It'll make sense because the beams come over here and then they'll rest on top of that. And it it was absolutely magical. It's like, okay, I'm the kind of person that when when there's like deadlines breathing down my neck, when things are getting stressful, that is when I do my best work. If there's nothing pushing me, if there's nothing demanding me, I get very lazy and I get very lax about it. So, for any of y'all that have been watching all the episodes for this series, you'll know, I built this a while ago, and I've just been avoiding this area, like the plague, because I did not want to deal with this roof. And when I started filming this episode, I, for some reason, just decided, you know what? This is getting fixed. I am going to stake the schedule of this episode on the fact that this will get fixed. And that pressure, it actually forced me to face what I didn't want to and to find a solution. And so sometimes you're going to find in life that there are things that you know you need to deal with, but you keep running from them or you keep kind of, you know, I'll put it to the back of me. I'm not going to look at it. But you're going to find in life that if you will turn and face your problems and be brave about it, and, and not give up, 
that the solution might actually present itself. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky, you stay down there. So, kind of a life lesson in this building, believe it or not. In silly Minecraft, you have just learned a life lesson, like a mini piggy epiphany tucked into this episode. So, this building... um. Let me see. I'm gonna. I am like so rambling and just running around. Y'all probably getting blah from watching the screen shift around so much. But I need to get rid of this uh, scaffolding. I need to finish off the roof line. But I, and I didn't do that. You know, I was just. I was so excited that that actually worked out. But I have rambled on for half an episode with this building. I need to get to the actual point of this episode. Let's see, my shovel. Okay, I got my shovel. Good. And I'm going to have to dump out some of this junk in my inventory. So, here's what we're going to do in this episode. I'm going to explain it real quick. I'm going to do some of the dirt work, and then I'll bring you back and do some building. I'm going to extend this retaining wall over about here. Well, no, we'll probably have to come out further than that. I don't know. I have to work on it. But I'm going to bring out the retaining wall. I'm going to make it turn and come this way because this land is going to get built up because these place markers that I set, that ground has got to be level. So I have to fi I'm going to figure that out in a different episode. But the ground's going to be level there. This area is going to be kind of level with that, and then it's going to have a straight drop. And the drop is going to drop down to a, a, a ground level, probably level with what I'm standing on because here's what I want to do. I want to build a staging area for all the logs. The logs are going to get delivered here. We're going to have like a crane that's going to make piles of logs and I'm going to have a forklift. It's going to pick up the logs, it's going to bring it over here and set it down for the sawmill to chop it up. And yes, it's all pretend. <laughs> None of it's actually going to work. It's all just decorative. But this is the piggy imagination at work and we're going to put piggy's imagination to work. So, whoops, well, wow. That's okay, it'll be gone anyway, because I have got this really awesome shovel. I love this thing. Look at this, it just plow through here like crazy. So, I'm going to fill up my inventory and every local chest in the area with dirt. <laughs> and then I'll bring you back and start showing you what I'm going to do with the ground. Alright, everybody. So, I have managed to plow my way through this area, and I went ahead and extended the retaining wall to about right here. And I thought it would be cool, like, if you're coming down this walkway, you're looking straight down here. So, I figured, you know what, let's make this bump out one block, just so it kind of breaks it up. It doesn't look like a big straight line. It looks like, you know, the landscape was part of the consideration when all this stuff was built. So, what I've done is I have gotten a bunch of cobble that I cooked. I was going to use it to make these stones. And I just figured, you know what, I'm going to lay down smooth stone. Now, in a minute, it'll make more sense why smooth stone. Because I actually need this pattern to match another block I'm going to use to do a special effect I want. But, I went ahead and tried outlining the, uh, the sawmill with just stone blocks. I think it works. I think it works really well. Now, I haven't finished over here. I just, you know, I used what I had in my inventory just to try it out. And I think I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the retaining walls. I'm going to mix and match some, uh, some of the mossy stone. And check this out. If you cook stone, you get cracked brick. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch to couple of these to make it look like it's cracked you know it's been here a little while it's not and right in here we're going to need it to look a little cracked too and i'm going to tell you why because we are going to build a forklift that's right i thought you know what i got to come up with a logical way to move wood and a forklift would be a great idea it can drive around and go all over the place and you know take stuff from a pile over there, stick it in the machine over here, and I've never made a forklift, so I thought that would be pretty fun. So, I'm going to get this junk out of my inventory, and I am going to, I'm going to precursor this. I got inspiration for this from a, a, a YouTuber named False Symmetry. She's on Hermitcraft. She actually did a tutorial where she showed how to make some uh, different machines like a forklift i think she did a bulldozer and something else and 
So what I did was I watched her video. I figured out how she made a forklift, and then I borrowed some techniques she did, and I came up with my own design. So here's all the stuff we're going to need <clears throat> to, to make the forklift anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this stuff over into my inventory. I might want to grab a few birch logs too. So, And I'm thinking what I want to do is I want to have the forklift facing this way, like it's getting ready to load another log. So we're going to put a block here and there, and that's going to be our front wheels. And I, I've seen a lot of people do this. If you, if you put buttons on the wheels like that, or the blocks, your eye kind of, you know, goes ahead and accepts, hmm, maybe that's supposed to be a wheel. So we'll just put some upside down stairs here like this, and we'll do like that. I'm trying to remember if I had three there or not. We'll just go with three. Three will work. So I'm going to do that and place these two blocks like this with the little buttons right there. And that is going to be the underside. Okay. So now from here, let's see. Make sure I gave myself enough room. Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, Just making sure I didn't mess it up here. So now we're going to put this part on. And this part is called the boom or the mast. Good. I have dirt. Oh, man, I was hoping I would not forget to get me some dirt. So what I got to remember is how high I wanted this to be. So I think it was three high on each side. And, oh, I took way too many. I, did I need ten? Let's see. I'm looking at a picture. So I've got one, two, three, four high. So we got one, two, three, and we'll do four right here. So the mast is the front. That is the part that... uh tilts back and forth and holds the forks in the front. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to make uh we're going to make this forklift orange, okay? And the reason why orange is because I figured out I've always wanted to figure out how I could build something with acacia wood. And I finally figured it out. I can <laughs> I can match acacia wood with orange and it'll work. So we're going to put that there and there and there like that I'll switch back over here to smooth redstone and this some of y'all may not know what this is for but when you drive a forklift the stuff sticking out the front's heavy so you actually have something on the back that's real heavy it's called a counterbalance and that helps you be able to hold stuff on the front so I gave a little bit of a different design and texture here using these blocks and thought that would look cool as a counterbalance. Same color, but just a little bit different texture. So now I'm going to switch to my acacia. I'm going to put some right here. And at first I was going to use the cobble fence, but the problem is they want to connect. And I didn't want them to connect, so I decided uh, I'll use fence posts here. That, that'll work. So now, let's see, I've got a lever. We'll put a lever right there, and we're going to put a little seat right here. Yeah, i got to fill in that spot. I just It'll bug me if I know it's hollow. <laughs> so we got that, and it's getting dark, you bad, bad dark. Oh, one of these days I'm going to get that right. Let's see if I can hurry up and do this. So we're going to place carpet here like that, but I want the whole roof to be carpet. So here's a cool trick that I learned from False Symmetry you can use string and y'all may not be able to see it so you can see the hitbox okay but I can place carpets on top of string isn't that cool so check this out now you kind of see the hitbox a little bit when you stand here but you can kind of sit in here and you got a roof over your head so go ahead and finish this off on the back with a little bit of carpet just so it looks like it's kind of painted striped a little bit. And if I'm not mistaken, how did I do? Oh, I got them backwards. I got them backwards. I was going to put a black stripe down the middle and dark gray on the side. So we'll do dark gray like that. Some black right there and right there. And there we go. I am going to run and, and jump in this bed and do a quick cut. We'll come back and finish. All right, guys, I'm sorry about that. I just wanted, like I said, one of these days I'm going to figure out how to time the sun to work with me. <laughs> so 
the actually the last little bit I think that I need to do here is the forks on the front and this is a really cool trick this is the trick that I learned from false symmetry it's kind of the same trick as the roof so I'm setting up some wood right here I think I want to extend it just a little bit maybe like that you know so that it's not gonna bang right into that and we'll we'll extend it out right here there we go hmm that doesn't look as big as I'd like it to we'll do one more just like that maybe we're a really good driver and we don't run into the pole that would be great okay so here's the really cool trick you take string you place it on the ground like that oh no where's my other carpet at Oh, piggy, piggy, why did you do that? Let's see. Hmm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and change my design. There we go. Now I got some carpet. So, with the string right there, whoop, whoop, we're just going to place our carpet like that. And now if you look, let me pill her up. It'll be easier to see from this angle. Check that out. It looks like forks are holding up the wood and it's going to get lifted and put on there. That is really cool. So, now we've got a forklift. We have something that's going to get our wood over here to the sawmill so that the gear house, connected to the water wheel, connected to the dam that's connected to the pond, that's connected to the control house, it all rests on this forklift. <laughs> it's finally given all this stuff a reason to be. But, yeah, we got more to build because we got to give the forklift a reason to be. And right here, real quick, before I run out of time, because this episode is running a little late, I thought, you know what? Whenever you drive a forklift, it leaves marks all over the ground. They just, that's the nature of a forklift. So, I looked at coal. See how it's got the same pattern? So I thought, hey, check it out. It kind of leaves a trail, like where the forklift has been driving. So, what I'm going to do is, once I start getting my little staging area built over here, where the logs and everything are going to go, I'm going to figure out, you know, different little paths that the, uh, the forklift would go on, and kind of draw out. So, see, like how, like this, and let's see, we'll do one, two... And this is kind of tricky. I have yet to master uh, understanding how to figure out to make circles and corners in a, in a square block environment. But we're just going to try it out on camera and see what happens. So see that? Let's see. We'll get up a little higher. See that? It almost looks... Ooh, that's a little ugly. <laughs> I'll have to tweak that a little bit, but that's the general idea. It looks like the forklift backs up here, and then maybe I'll have some lines going that that way, like it, it drives off that way, and we'll, we'll keep this a secret. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I think that's going to be about it for today. We have set up the area that's going to be our staging area. We've got ourselves a forklift, so now we can get wood up into the sawmill. I think this place is really starting to come along. We can finally get some wood sold out of this place. So, hmm, you know what? I think I'm going to just drive around on my forklift, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Hmm. We're not going anywhere. Maybe it ain't got no gas. I ain't got no gas in it.